There are about 600 wards around the country who in the first quarter of this year had claimant count twice the national average. We reckon that means they've got a neat rate, not in employment, education or training, of 25, 30, even 35 percent. One in three youngsters not in work or education or uh, training. And so there you face the concentration of disadvantage, often with poor economic prospects, often with poor transport connections, because transport is a much bigger issue than people give it credit for. And it's that kind of area that needs extra flexibility, extra boost, extra effort if we're going to stop short-term unemployment becoming long, long, long-term unemployment. The most important thing is to make it easy for businesses. The problems of complexity, the problems of government schemes that change every five minutes, the lack of openness that sometimes exists on the part of education authorities. Let's be honest, also sometimes a, a short-termism in business, those things conspire against giving young people, especially those who are not bound for university, the kind of opportunities that they deserve. I think we need local coalitions of business, of, private, of public sector and of, public, of, of voluntary sector all coming together to say, look, in our area we can really make a difference, but we need government to give us the flexibility. And that's the sort of change that I think this problem needs if it's going to be properly addressed.